Rishabh Pant, Rhythm and Saha. We've had this conversation a number of times. People all over India will have a perspective on this, I'm sure. But Rhythm and Saha was picked for the first test match because they wanted the best keeper possible. Rishabh Pant replaced him to bolster the batting lineup after all out 36. And look, it worked at Melbourne last week, but dropping Pekovsky off Ashwin on 26 and then off Siraj on 32, they were two glaring uh, setbacks for India today. It's something we've talked about for a very, very long time. My view has always been, and this is nothing to do with what happened today to Rishabh Pant, who I rate as a fine young player, but my view has always been that you pick your best keeper. Unfortunately, I mean, the early days of Sangakara, then Gilchrist, then MS Dhoni, we've started assuming that our batsman, that the keeper should deliver a batting average of 35, 40, in Gilchrist's case, close to 50. And mm. so we start to pick the package. It's interesting that uh, on Crick Buzz itself, I asked uh, Sangakara and he said, no, you've got to have the right package. But uh, I guess you can't put a value to catches that go down and the value of runs scored thereafter. So my view has always been pick the best keeper. Pick six batsmen, keeper, four bowlers. If one of the batsmen bowls, that's great. If one of the bowlers bats, that's great. But in a test match, you pick the best keeper. In the end, they were saved by the man on Dubu Saini, who picked up Bukowski for 62 with his best ball of the day. And, and Will, the young man from Victoria, said, I will not review. A bit old school there, wasn't it? He said, I will not review. I will not send it upstairs. You can see him whispering to Marnus Lavashane, that's plum. But uh, as it turns out, it'll be something that continues to be debated because if you go with your best gloveman, or do you go with the full package? And India haven't resolved that because they did look a more robust side last week with Rishabh Pant. We did reflect on the way he changed the tempo on yes. that second day. So there's no easy answer. It's one of those ones where you can build a case either way. Yeah, so you, I think you've got to look at Pant, uh, at Saha minus Pant as a keeper and equate that against uh, Pant minus Saha as a batsman. Now, that, mm. that seems like high school arithmetic to do, but it's far, far more complex than that. And that is very often a qualitative judgment because you do not know what the cost of the keeping errors are, whereas the batting averages are very easily quantifiable. And, and in, in all fairness to Pant, given the role that he's playing, even that 20-30 that he scored at Melbourne was actually uh, at a crucial phase, was, mm. was a very interesting little cameo. So, he's done his job. It's always going to be difficult. If the track goes up and down, it's always going to be difficult for Pant, who's always a batsman first and a keeper second. So, in India have got to take that call and then just ride the call and say, okay, all things considered, this is what we've gone with and we'll take what we get.